It is my strong belief that we are in a window of change right now. There are certain traditional firms that will die. There are others that will consolidate. There are some smaller firms that will benefit for a while. And there are these sort of unique firms, uh, non-law firms, technology firms, etc., that will thrive for a short period. And there are in-house departments that will balloon for a period. But after a while, relatively large law firms still make sense. Big law is not bad. Uh, and the ones that figure out how to be nimble and change and continue to be able to do that and are hungry and have elite quality and deliver extraordinary value are going to be able to provide everything that all of those other pieces are currently providing. And if you are a general counsel and you can find that firm, why would you not use that firm? People say, well, if it's that easy, why aren't law firms changing to do that? And the answer is anyone who would ask that question does not understand the culture of most large law firms and the inability to change. Even today, many are still waiting for, for the good old days to return. It's incredible. They still believe that their clients are going to come to them when they, when they need them just because of their old name, etc. But I, I think that will, that will change. What you're seeing now is a trend. You're seeing general counsels feeling uh, both pressure and empowerment to change. It's the old traditional uh, elite firms that are under the most pressure, in my opinion. And we are also hiring from those firms because as those firms feel the pressure, it has become much more difficult for them to change their billing rates, to make new partners. If you're a general counsel, uh, and we've seen this trend you know, over the decades, and you're building up a big in-house staff, these trends historically uh, have reversed themselves. Because you know, if a company is in the manufacturing business, or the pharmaceutical business, or the banking business, et cetera, that's their business. They're not in the legal business. Uh, at some point, somebody's going to look at the hundreds and hundreds of lawyers that they are carrying in their in-house departments. And if there is a better way to do it, believe me, they would rather not be in the legal business. They're in that business uh, for a reason, which is that their needs are not being met by their outside counsel. The other side of it is, these non-law firms that are providing certain types of, of lawyers, these technology companies that are providing certain types of, of services, uh, they only exist because the, the, the law firms that otherwise were being relied upon by clients were not providing efficient services in those areas. When I look back at, at my time and, uh, as CEO, uh, I think, you know, I saw basically all of this coming. Now, maybe I'm a unique <laughs> individual, uh, but I did see all of this coming. And sometimes I say, I, I, I wish I moved faster to make some of these changes uh, that we are making.